Checking out the hive. This is a small hive beetle trap. Um, there's different types of traps you can get. Um, there's some that are disposable. This is one that's supposed to last a while. Um, it's reusable. But the thing is even, these are pretty cheap. I think this is like $3 or less. So small hive beetles, which I'll show you some in a minute. There's a few in here, um, maybe only two or three. Small hive beetles, um, are a problem but I wouldn't say they are like you know a major major problem for most people thankfully um, they're not like varroa mites which can totally collapse a hive usually most of the time small hive beetles are more of an annoyance um, but they can, but the thing you need to watch out for is they can um, ruin your honey which is not good um, they live inside the wax they lay their eggs in the wax. There's larvae that look like uh, wax moth larvae actually. Um, and they can defecate or poop in your honey and your wax combs and that can ferment your honey, which is not good. So this again, small hive beetle trap, this is how it works. I'm gonna open it up for you. Um, hopefully you can see a little bit better. There are three sections. There's a small section in the middle which has walls on the side, and then on either side are these larger sections. Basically what you do, you put something sweet as an attractant to attract the um, hive beetle. Um, I use apple cider vinegar. So they try to get to the apple cider vinegar, but it's really difficult for them to get to. And usually instead they end up getting trapped in these other compartments these other compartments you can put vegetable oil um, you can put mineral oil and it basically traps the adults now the adults are the ones that are going to be laying the eggs so this is a good thing um, this is an easy investment I would definitely encourage you to get small high beetle traps it only costs you a few dollars um, and again I only have a few in here which hopefully tells me that I don't have a lot of small hive beetles to begin with. But let's go ahead and open up this second one as well. And then I'll show you what a small hive beetle looks like. So here's my second trap. I put two in there. Um, this one actually has a decent amount of hive beetles probably a dozen hive beetles in here um, so this is definitely working the bees actually have started to seal it with propolis um, so I need to clean this out so that they can keep using it but let's go ahead and uh, hopefully you can see it's hard making bee videos because you got to worry about the bees first but hopefully you can see the hive beetles in there and I'm gonna show them to you as well Okay, so much easier to explain how a hive beetle trap works, small hive beetle trap, when my hive isn't open. Um, so again, there's three compartments inside of here. You put apple vinegar in the center. Um, you put vegetable oil or some other type of oil, mineral oil on the sides. The adult small hive beetle gets attracted to the vinegar, to the sweet smell, and then they fall inside the oil and then you trap your beetles. This hive only had a few beetles in it. Um, this trap, which a lot of the oil and vinegar, you got knocked over. So um, there's probably 10 adult beetles in here that I'm gonna show you in a minute. So again, the adults are pretty easy to spot. 
They're a little bit smaller than um, a ladybug, I would say. They're black, brown, um, pretty easy to see. They're pretty um, unique in the hive. You know they're not a bee. Um, sometimes you see the larva of these guys. The larva doesn't get that big, much smaller than a wax moth larva. And usually you don't see wax moths in your hive unless you have a really unhealthy hive or a dormant hive or an inactive hive. You don't have bees anymore. Um, wax moth um, is more a problem with storing your hives in the wintertime. Or maybe you put some frames up in storage for a year or two. And uh, that's when the wax moths usually are a problem. But we're going to open up these uh, hive traps just so you can get a closer look at what a small hive beetle looks like. Okay, so here are the adult small hive beetles that are dead, uh, drowned in the oil. But I just wanted to give you a chance to see what they look like so you can start to recognize them in your hives. Again, these traps are really affordable. Even the ones that are reusable are three or four bucks. You can get disposable ones that I think are a dollar. Um, but it's good to know about these um, pests for your bees because if you don't know about them, how are you going to treat them? So I hope this video has been informative, and um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you want to tell me about your adventures in beekeeping, I would love to hear them. Until next time, keep on beekeeping.